after a long seven hour drive from Sydney, I finally made it to the Warren Bungles. I'm pretty damn excited to be here. Uh, the Warren Bungles have been pretty high on the list for the last year or two. It's been to be one of the best hikes in New South Wales, so I'm really keen to see what's in store. I arrived yes, uh, so late yesterday, Arvo, just slept in the back of the Jeep last night. And um, yeah, the Warren Bungles is Australia's first dark sky national park, and just the stars last night were unbelievable, like insane. I've never seen so many stars, so I'm really looking forward to getting up in the mountains and just laying back on the rocks and um, yeah, just looking at all the stars. I think it's going to be a really nice trip. So let's um, go down to the trailhead, we'll strap on the boots, and we'll get on our way. Hell. I definitely won't lie when they say it's one of the best views in New South Wales. That is an absolute cracker. So what you're actually looking at is an ancient volcano. And uh, these big rocky monoliths are actually the lava that came up out of the volcano. And then it's um, yeah, solidified as rock. And then the rest of the volcano has eroded away and just left behind these yeah, rocky monoliths, which is Pretty cool to think about. Just blows your mind, just the scale of time. Like this is, I think like 20 million years ago or something like that, which is just mind boggling. <laughs> Can't even comprehend it, eh? especially my small brain. So yeah, absolutely unbelievable. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is um, go back down and hike over to these sort of big rocky crops over there. And we'll probably camp over there somewhere tonight. And then tomorrow, make my way over to that bigger mountain over in the distance. So. Yeah, it should be a good couple of days, especially if the weather stays like this. It is such a nice day out here. Absolutely loving it. So let's get on our way and make our way over there.
has got to say this. That's ridiculous. Oh man, this thing is insane. So they call this a bread knife. It's probably only about three or four meters wide, but really tall. Seems like a, a rock climber's heaven, this thing. It's like Australia's version of El Capitan. Oh man, look at the view too. It's ridiculous. <laughs> this place is so bloody cool. Absolutely frothing on it. Really enjoying today's hike. Bloody hell, this view is insane. Wow, so definitely have to be up there with probably one of the best places I've ever been. That is just ridiculous, eh? Oh, I'm one happy bloke right now. Such a nice time of day to be out here as well. Like there's no one else around, which is good sunlight just lighting up all the, the mountains man golden hour oh i'm absolutely stoked right now this is uh definitely beats my expectations eh Wow, this is probably one of the biggest grass trees I've ever seen. It is a monster. <laughs> that is huge. Man, this thing is a monster. Considering the growth rate is about up to about an inch a year, this would be a couple hundred years old easily. Yeah, she's an old girl. Man, so cool. Definitely one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. All right, we've got the tent set up. We've got about another 20 minutes left to light, so let's go try and find a good spot to take in the sunset.
We got a little bit of rain last night, which I wasn't really expecting. Um, not heaps, but just enough to sort of make everything a bit wet. So just got the tent sort of laying out, um, trying to dry out in the sun, which it should dry pretty quickly because at the moment it is such a beautiful bluebird day. Honestly, couldn't ask for better weather, eh? It's an absolute cracker. So it's gonna be another, a really nice day hiking through here. Such a good time of year to be doing this as well, eh? I think um, I chose a yeah, good time. Like, what we're in the, the first week, or so second week of June, it's just a really nice, beautiful temperature during the day, and at night time it's a bit chilly, but not too bad, hey. So, yeah, really good time to be um, year to be out here. And uh, last night, after I um, sort of put the camera away, just sort of laid out here. Actually, I went down to the cliff's edge, and then I came back and just put my mat out here and laid down next to my tent and just looked up at the stars. And honestly, some of the best stars I've ever seen. Just from horizon to horizon, the Milky Way just lit up the sky. It was insane just shooting stars going everywhere it's just a really nice time eh? just chucked in the, the airpods with um some nice ambient music and just uh, lay there for about two hours i reckon it was um, a really nice way to spend the night but um plan for today is i was going to go up to mount Exmouth, but i don't think i'll do that i think i might climb up to mount bluff which is just behind me they're about the same height um, but mount Exmouth is a little bit of a detour whereas here that one's right there and then um after i finish that i can easily just go back down to my car, do this big loop back down to my car. So I think that's what we'll do today. So we'll um, you get camp all packed up and then we'll um, go climb up there. All right, so I'm just at the start of the track to go up to Bluff Mountain. And I decided to leave my backpack down here at Dow's campsite, which is at the base of the mountain. Um, I figured there's no point carrying extra weight up to the top, so I'll leave that here and I'll get it on the way back down. Really liking all the cypress pines around here. It gives the place in a very American feel. You almost feel like you're hiking through the Sierra Nevadas or something. It's really cool. This is so cool. There's just grass trees everywhere and they're massive. Look at the size of that one. That'd be about four meters high. Monsters. <laughs> Far out, that's crazy. There's snow, or snowy ice at least. That's insane. We got a big storm about a week ago all across New South Wales and a lot of places got snow but I didn't think it'd still hang around. That's nuts. One thing I definitely never thought I'd see is snow and then a grass tree in the same shot. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh man, this is definitely up there with one of the best views I've seen. You can just see for days from horizon to horizon. Oh, it's absolutely insane, eh? So out that way, you got the Western Plains and basically that just goes on forever. You could walk all the way to WA if you wanted to. Oh, man, it's so cool. You can definitely see how this was once a volcano just like all around you see the mountains just start to drop away in the distance and it sort of yeah, levels out to the plains. 
man, incredible. I think how long it must have taken for like this to erode away to leave behind these sort of lava mountains. Mind boggling, absolutely insane. <sighs> this is such a nice day to be out here. It's so still, like I was just sitting down for about half an hour before, had the camera off and um, there's just like barely any sound. You just hear a few flies buzzing around and a few birds every now and then. Apart from that, it's just absolute stillness. <sighs> Today's a Tuesday as well, so this is definitely a nice way to spend your Tuesday. It sure beats being at work. What do we have here? Guzman y Gomez receipt. Man, I could actually go for some Mexican right now. Eh? <laughs> that would be the dream. But anyway, remember guys, leave no trace. So take that home. Alright guys, well, there you have it, the Warren Bungles. If I had to describe that in two words, that would be bloody epic. <laughs> that was a, a really nice overnighter. Some of the most gorgeous country I've hiked through. It was, um, yeah, definitely blew every expectation I had out of the water, so. But uh, anyway, for now, I'm um, gonna drive into the closest town, which is Coonabarabran, find a nice motel to spend the night, rest up, and then jump back in the car tomorrow, and then go explore Pilgrim Forest, because I've got the rest of the week off, and Pilgrim Forest is just north of here and it's meant to be um, yeah, a pretty cool place. So I'm looking forward to that. But for now, let's wrap this one up. Just want to say a big thanks to all you guys watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hooroo.